Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Gilsen and here you will find mostly sewing tutorials but also some embroidery, crochet and DIY videos. In my last tutorial we made a short peacoat with a free sewing pattern and today I will show you how to make a lining for this coat. This tutorial can also guide you and give you an idea on how you can make a lining for any coat. So, for the lining pattern, we are going to draft the front, the back pattern piece, and for the rest, we will use the side, the top, and bottom sleeves from the original pattern. First of all, secure your front pattern piece so it won't move while tracing. Then, place a see-through paper on top and secure it as well. After that, place your front facing pattern on top. Trace dotted lines following the outline, the one towards the inside. Now you can properly trace the lines with your French curve and ruler. From the bottom of the pattern, take off 1 cm seam allowance and add 1 cm seam allowance on the front and the collar like this. Continue by tracing the shoulder, the armhole and the side. Make sure you transfer the dark lines as well. We don't need the marks for the pocket as we are not including the pockets in the lining. Now you can cut your pattern carefully. Your front lining pattern should look like this. Repeat the same process as earlier with your back pattern piece and place your color pattern piece on top like this. Trace dotted lines by following the bottom line of the color as shown here. Then draw the line with the French curve. Add one centimeter all along the back line. This will help us to add extra space for the lining as a coat or jacket back lining is typically slightly bigger than the coat fabric. We will cut this piece on the fold and the excess will be formed into a pleat. This will allow your body to move inside the coat without tearing the lining. Once again, take off 1 cm seam allowance from the bottom to have the same height as the front lining. Add the seam allowance on the collar like this. And continue to trace around the shoulder, the armhole and the side. Place a mark in the middle front. The back lining pattern is ready to cut. This is what it should look like. Place your back pattern piece on the fold of your lining fabric. The middle back is not straight but it's not a big deal as we need the excess fabric for the pleat as explained earlier. Pin all around. You need two pieces of the front so pin it next to the back piece. Then pin the sleeves and the sides. Don't forget to take off 1 cm seam allowance from the sleeves and the sides like we did for the front and back pieces earlier. There you go! Now you can cut all your lining pieces. You should have one back piece, two front pieces, two sides, two top sleeves and two bottom sleeves in total. Once that's done, transfer the dark lines and all the marks on your pattern pieces. 
Here is where you need to overlock the middle front, the shoulders, the bottom and the sides of your front. The sides, the bottom and the shoulders of the back. The sides and the bottom of the sides. The sides and bottom of the top sleeves and bottom sleeves. Once that's done, press the overlocked edges. Now let's pin the dark lines and sew. Here, match the marks in the middle back and pin. You need to sew here 0.5 cm from the edge. Press the dots towards the top. You can now overlock the sides. Pin the side with the front, right sides together and so. Repeat the same process on the other side. After that, place the side on top of the back piece, right sides together and pin. Do the same thing on the other side as well. So both sides. Pin the shoulders right sides together and sew. Now you can press the seams open. First, Pin one side of the top and bottom sleeves together, right sides together of course. Then pin the other side. Sew both sides and repeat the same process on the other sleeve. Press the seams open. Now pin the sleeves by matching the marks and right sides together as always. Sew the sleeves and then overlock to have a clean finish. Here we are going to prepare the hem and for that you need to fold the bottom 2 cm from the edge and press. Do the same thing on the sleeves. First I place the lining wrong sides together to see what it looks like. Then flip it on top like this so you can start to pin right sides together. Here I'm only pinning the collar. Match the shoulder seams together, then the facing corner by leaving 1 cm at the end. Continue pinning and then sew.
Once that's done, I place the lining sleeves inside the sleeves so they don't get in the way when we continue sewing the sides of the basin. Then start pinning the bottom of the lining. Make sure the overlocked edges are aligned perfectly. Then continue pinning and if you see that you are struggling in the corner of the collar, you can make a small notch. So along here. This is what it should look like. Now, for the bottom hem, align the seam lines and the edges together as shown here. Do this all along the bottom. For the middle, create a pleat like this and pin. Now you can sew an invisible stitch by hand. Do the same thing for the sleeves. For the buttons, I place pins as a mark. I placed the first button 3 cm from the collar, the next one at 11.5 cm, then 12 and 13 cm apart. I will finally mark with the base and stitch 2 cm from the edge. This will be the beginning of the buttonhole. I also mark where I will place the buttons on the placket. I measured the middle and one centimeter from the edge. Make the buttonholes with your sewing machine. Et voilà, final touches. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have any suggestions for a spring sew along tutorial, make sure to comment down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video to help support me. See you next time. Bye bye.